Hello dear students. So today we will discuss the introductory lecture about operating system. This subject operating system the paper code is CS PCC CS502. Now the first question come in your mind that uh, everyone generally we used operating system by uh, different types of uh, rather than different flavors of operating system we are using uh, day to day like uh, presently when we are using your mobile phone we are using android operating system before this uh, the mobile uh, the earlier version of mobile they used uh, uh, symbion operating system and uh, most of the user around 80% uh, of user we generally used microsoft uh, windows operating system and other most sophisticated operating system is Linux or Unix operating system. So these are different uh, flavors or different types of operating system. Now the first question comes in your our mind that what is operating system? How we can explain what are the basic property of operating system? So we can say that operating system is a program that acts as an intermediary between a user of a computer and the computer hardware. So, again I am just repeating, operating system is a program that acts as an intermediary between the user and the hardware. Right? So, we can say an operating system is a program that acts as a interface or intermediary between the user and the computer hardware and controls the execution of all kinds of program. Now, the question uh, comes in my mind that can you tell me what is a program? Program is a set of instruction, right? So, actually there is some basic difference between program, process and thread. Uh, so, program is actually set of instruction and operating system itself it is it is a part of software it is not actually it is not a hardware it is a software part and we can rather specifically says that operating system is a system software not an application software okay it directly deals with the system related files like we cannot directly play our uh, speaker our monitor we cannot directly uh, execute our monitor without the help of the operating system because when we play some music or some sound uh, uh, through our uh, speaker we need the sound driver similarly when we displayed or played any movies in our monitor we need a uh, graphics driver so all these things actually handled by or managed by the operating system so if we focus on this layer architecture of the operating system the core layer is the hardware layer hardware layer consists of cpu central processing unit random access memory or ram and some io devices right and the above layer is the operating system layer an operating system layer it consists of different types of software some software may be system software and some software are application software so what are the different system software when we actually installed our operating system uh, some system related files actually stored in your computer in your primary drive when you actually store window operating system may have the, we often see that or we generally see that there is a c drive which contains majorly the by default we stored our operating system in c drive and there is a program files and which having x.86 and other important uh, folder if we delete or ha hamper uh, this type of folder then our entire system will be collapsed because it contains the system related file with having uh, all the necessary information or kernel data i will discuss it what is kernel data later on and um, some application software well, actually the, the software we often install like um, microsoft windows office powerpoint excel like vlc media player all these things and uh, all these are actually application software and the topmost uh, layer actually belongs uh, the user the n number of user can access your uh, system 
that is a uh, multi user operating system or n number of user can execute n number of tasks multitasking operating system all these things are there so now we focused on the next part 